Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie Bang and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering all of the common questions I get, which are absolute don'ts with your guinea pig. So today we're pretty much just going to be talking about everything not to do with your guinea pig because I've done a bunch of guinea pig care videos, but I think it would be good to have one video where it's everything you shouldn't do with them in one place, you know? And help me with this, this is Monday. He's a little angel. He's pretty fluffy and big. He's the sweetest ever. So I have a couple, but I just thought I'd bring one out for the video, you know, for the sake of keeping this a little bit quieter. Okay, so as you see, I only have one guinea pig right here, but he has a bunch of friends. One, the first thing that you shouldn't do is get one guinea pig. That's because guinea pigs are herd animals, so if you get one of them, you are actually not meeting up to their care standards. It's kind of like how we're people, we need other people to socialize with. Guinea pigs are a herd animal and need other guinea pigs to socialize with. And they aren't going to get that from just spending time with a human, because you are not a guinea pig, you don't communicate like they do. And oh, they need a lot of other guinea pigs, at least one other friend, to hang out with and have all day long parties with, right? Okay, the second one I'm going to say is don't get a guinea pig cage from a pet store, which sounds kind of funny. And yeah, there are some guinea pig cages at pet stores that are fine, but honestly, most guinea pig cages at pet stores do not meet guinea pig space requirements. Two guinea pigs need at least a minimum of 11 and a half square feet to romp around in and play in. So you don't want to get them a guinea pig cage from a pet store. Also, you don't want to get them a cage that has that's more vertical than it is horizontal. That's right, right? I Me, mean, I'm going back to like second grade math for a second. So guinea pigs don't have a good depth per depth perception. So they're not very good at like jumping on and off of things and they could hurt themselves. So you want them to get one that's just pretty flat so they can run around and have a good time and not be in danger. Okay, the next thing not to do is leave your guinea pig outside in extreme weather. And by extreme weather, I pretty much mean anything that's not in the 70s or mid to low 80s. You don't want to leave them in the high 80s or 60s because anything below or above that too because they can overheat and get cold super easily. So you wanna make sure that you are taking care of them. I actually have a pen for them outside. I live in Arizona, so it's really hot here during the summer, so they cannot be outside pretty much all summer. Hi, Callie, my sister's here. They cannot be outside pretty much all summer, but what I make sure to do is let them be outside when it's cooler, more in the evening time, but you have to be careful when they're outside if you don't have a hutch that covers, because you don't want them to get swooped up by a bird or something. They have a lot of predators and they're super cute so a lot of things want to take them out. Since you have to have multiple guinea pigs, another thing that you don't want to do or you shouldn't do is have one hive and one water or one of anything really because guinea pigs do need to socialize but they're also extremely, they just get it bicker a lot about everything. So you want to make sure that you limit that by having two water bottles, two hides, two of pretty much everything, two places where they can eat their pellets, two places for hay, so that they're not all going to be at the same spot and like the top guinea pig can't just guard the water or guard the food or something. You want to make sure that even though there's going to be a pecking order, um, there's a cat here, hey you shouldn't be around my guinea pig. And Callie just grabbed her, she's like, nope, not today girl. Um, you just want to make sure that you're trying to give them the least amount of reasons to fight or not get along as possible. The next thing you shouldn't do is put vitamin C in their water and everyone does this because guinea pigs do need vitamin C. They don't produce it naturally so it's really important that you supplement vitamin C into their diet. But don't do it with the vitamin C drops that go in their water because you don't know exactly how much vitamin C they're getting and some don't like the taste of them so they'll actually not drink enough water and then they can get hurt by being dehydrated. So. You want to give it to them in a tablet or a powder form. I just give mine each a fourth of a vitamin C tablet every single day as a little treat and they love it. The next thing is don't use cedar or pine bedding. This is a big one because some wood beddings are fine like aspen is great. You can also use fleece bedding for your guinea pigs. I personally prefer aspen. I just think it's easier. I've never really switched to fleece and I have so much room it would be a lot to cover all of that with fleece. 
but don't use cedar or pine because that can actually harm your guinea pigs and be toxic to them and we don't want to be hurting those cute little babies and then I'm gonna group this these two into one don't use a ball or a wheel for your guinea pigs guinea pigs are a little bit bigger than hamsters or rats and stuff like that so it's actually bad for them to arch their back in a ball or a wheel the balls that you see people put hamsters in honestly aren't good for hamsters either because they get super hot and can be kind of torturous for the hamster and you definitely don't want to put a guinea pig in that either because that could hurt their back so yeah just stay away from both of those things okay and then I want to add one more point because I did say get two guinea pigs when you're introducing them don't have one in the cage for a couple days or a week or a year and then add a new one to the cage because that's going to cause a lot of ter ter territorial issues and then they can start to fight what you want to do is introduce them on a natural ground maybe take your guinea pig if you're the best is to get them together get two together and add them in but don't introduce them straight into the cage. What I would do is introduce them outside if you have a hutch or and change all the bedding and all of the things and clean them all off. So everything is a fresh set when they go back into their cage. And then also make sure that you have a couple of everything so that you have a lower chance of them fighting. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. My sister came for the outro. Um, what do you have to tell them? Please like and subscribe. And turn on the post notification so you can become a member of the Bing Bunch. Yeah, and also today's creature call is to Nevea Pina. I think that's your name. I think I said it correctly. I hope I did. Thank you so much, Nevea Pina. We appreciate you. And then also, what else do we have to say? We love you. We love you. And we will see you next video. Bye. Bye.